Rocket and Reedsville show. We're glad to be with you today, and we've got a very new member of our team, Team Reedsville. And we've got Robin Yant, who is now our new Main Street Manager. Welcome, Robin. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here. Thank I you for having me. I know you are. We're so excited that we've got you. I know. I'm excited to be here. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about, so everybody can get to know Robin. Robin is a native of Rockingham County and a native of Reedsville. Man. So um, it's, it's going to be a great thing that she knows everybody here. But Robin, give us a little info about your background. Well, I was born Annie Penn Hospital. I was raised here. My parents worked here. My mom worked at Lawsonville Avenue School. Um, my dad worked in Fieldcrest Mills, and um, I've lived here my whole life. I went to RCC, Rockingham County High School. I raised my son here, did the same thing, and um, I just love it. I'm so, I've worked my entire life in Rockingham County, other than a couple of years in Greensboro, and I'm just so happy to be here working for my hometown. It's just thrilling. Well, we're, again, very excited to have you. So, um, before you came to the city, you worked with the county, and you were in the Tourism Development Department. So, tell us a little bit about what you did there. So, for uh, 21, 22 years, I did work with the Rockingham County PDA, and uh, a great opportunity. I worked with the entire county, all the municipalities, working with their programs, their marketing, and uh, the goal was to create heads and, bread, heads and beds, bringing in overnight visitors to the county, uh, creating that sense of place um, for the community, really uh, focusing on the uniqueness of each community, and they're, they're so similar, but they're so different as well, so you really have to just focus in on that and bringing it all together and having a big package. Uh, to uh, promote the county. So Absolutely. it was a great opportunity. Yeah, and Robin and I have traveled a lot throughout the year mm -hmm. to promote Rockingham County and Reedsville specifically. So again, we're just super stoked that she's with us. And I think a lot of that that you did with them is going to help you with the Main Street. Um, so tell us a little bit about, I think you have a little bit of advantage, I think, because you are from here and you know most of these businesses down here, don't you? Definitely. Uh, one, being raised here and just the memories of growing up here and on the Wednesday, I remember as a little girl on Wednesdays, they would have the uh, sidewalk sales. Every Wednesday afternoon, sidewalk sales going on. I remember Pope's on the corner and McCory's down the street and, and J.C. Penney's was up here and, and those memories and I see what I've seen the last few years through revitalization of Reedsville, uh, the team coming together and just that uniqueness and that hometown feel coming back and that just draws me back and to be a part of that and there's so many exciting things going forward and I'm just excited to be a part of that. Well you know you're very lucky we are all very lucky that we've got mm -hmm. such great merchants down here downtown. Amy Lasseter who's at the yes. Regional Trading Post kind of heads up the Merchants Association and they um, are doing sidewalk sales now. Yep. The first Saturday of every month. Exactly. Um, they had one this past weekend. It was packed downtown. Very TV. successful. It was mm -hmm. very successful. And they're doing all kinds of different events. So it's a great opportunity for folks to come down and yep. see what Reedsville has to offer. Because we have some really cool specialty shops. We really do. It's so unique. Everyone is different, cool, unique, something special to offer. And, and everyone is so excited. I just feel the energy going on in Reedsville and that energy. We just want to keep that energy going forward uh, in Reedsville. And as we, you know, uh, redo Main Street and the look and feel of it, it's going to be so exciting. You know, there, there may be a few days that you know you, you may have to go around a cone here or there but it's going to be so exciting what's going on it's only going to add to the businesses add to the visitors it's going to bring in more people bring in more businesses that's what we're about we want to promote the businesses we have some great events uh, this Friday night we have the cruise in everybody needs to come out great events going out through the rest of the year and we just want to keep that energy going forward well, you know, it was a rough last couple of years with our event. We weren't able to move forward with them because of COVID and all of that. So I hope, I know the numbers are rising now, but I think as we've all learned, it's here to stay. It's not going anywhere, and we're just going to have to deal with it. But so. even, even during COVID, Reesville did an amazing job. They did an amazing job pulling together, being a team, keeping businesses open. Um, having to find different ways to work and to offer to the community. Reese did an amazing job. So we're just going to grow on that and go with that. And it's just 
it's just exciting to be here at this time. And it is. And Robin exciting. just mentioned the streetscape project, which is going to be taking place downtown. We're going to do a whole segment on that because we're going to need to do a whole segment yeah. on that. But the, basically what's going to happen is we're getting ready to really do a beautification project down here on Scale Street. It will begin at this sculpture and go all the way down mm -hmm. um, to Settle Street. I mean, we're ripping out sidewalks. We're um, tearing up streets. We're putting in new poles. Um, we're putting in a whole new streetscape out here. And yes, as Robin said, it's going to be um, a little difficult for a while, but it's going to be done in segments, so it won't all be shut down at one time. And when it's all finished, it's going to be a beautiful um, project. So we are very excited about that. And we're very fortunate that we have a city council yeah. that, you know, really likes our downtown, wants to see our downtown grow, and um, they're willing to invest this kind of money in this. Right. Their vision is amazing, and the vision they've had through the last few years and then going forward. So it's going to be amazing. Just hang with us as we move forward. You know, be patient. I promise you, Judy promises the whole city promise you it's going to be great you know when it's done and we're just so excited with what's getting ready to happen excited with what has happened and going forward so it's, it's going to be a great thing for the whole town it's going to bring in new businesses for us and new visitors so yep it's going to be a good thing it's going to be a great thing and if you have a business here on um scale street and you'll be affected by this just know that we are planning to go door to door yep. to visit every business with a timeline so you can see when it's happening, the projected time. Now, of course, you know, that's going to go up and down a little, but it'll be the basic projected time. And it's actually going to start um, the week of the 1st of July, I think, is when they're looking at week of the June 27th to start work on Mural Park. So yep. um, it's going to get started and we're, we're excited about kicking that off. So Robin, I know one other thing I wanted to mention was the Fab Festival, yep. and that's our Food, Art, and Brew Festival, and Robin's going to be in charge of that. Yep. So right now, she's looking for vendors. So what kind of vendors are you looking for? We are, we are looking for artisans, uh, food vendors, everything. You're going to be seeing over the next couple of weeks lots of information coming out on this. So uh, please contact me. I'll be reaching out to a lot of you personally. and. Um, we're excited. It's going to be a nice fall festival, but it's going to be focused on artisans and unique crafts and things like that. So it's going to be a, a good festival to, to ease back into things over the last couple of years, and, and we're so excited about it. And, and again, remember, we have the cruise-ins going on, uh, lots of great events. The farmer's market's going on today. I just come by there, lots of people down there. Um, so come out and support all the events. So be sure to go to our Facebook page, our website, um, call us personally, we're there. So. Yep. So I would like to mention, you mentioned the farmer's market. The farmer's market has changed hours this year, so they're only open on Thursdays and Saturdays. Sadly, we lost two of our biggest farmers this past year, yeah. which was a big blow for us. So we're open on Thursdays and Saturdays this year. Have lots of new farmers out there, but Wayne and Paul were the ones who really did that Tuesday market. Yeah. So we've moved it to Thursdays and Saturdays from 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. So be sure and check out all our great events on riseupreadsville.com. And of course, be sure and like our Facebook page. You've got Market Square Facebook page, the Farmer's Market Facebook page, and of course, the City of Reedsville and Team Reedsville. Don't ever forget Team Reedsville because yep. we are a team down yep. here. So, it's great to see you again. Thanks, Robin, for coming out and visiting well, thank today. Thank you for having me.